name is Sonia Lamonicus. I'm currently the number one ranked female heavyweight in the world. Seven wins and two draws as a professional. Um, I've been boxing for a total of about nine and a half, ten years. I'm a school teacher in New York City and I started boxing late in life when I was 27 years old. The Scholar of Monica. All right, a couple of heavyweights. I was at the ATM one night and I, I got jumped by these two guys that obviously probably wanted the money I was getting out of the bank or the money I had in my in my pocket and I didn't know how to defend myself and I was in my car and when I had lo unlocked the car they jumped in one in the front and one in the back and pulled my head to the back of the, the seat and I, I just didn't know what to do to defend myself and they took everything I had and you know everything that I had in the car whatever they wanted and had the knife to my throat and I was pushing back on the knife like this and it was starting to cut my fingers. I, re I pulled away and the knife came to my throat. And I think once he realized he cut me, he, he ended up leaving and taking what he ever, they took from the car and they ran off. And I went home and my parents happened to be actually on vacation. So I didn't even go to the police. I just went home and got, I was shook. You know, I cried for like eight hours, finally fell asleep. And the next day I went to my regular Gold's Gym in West Springfield, Mass, and my friend's like, I told her what happened, I was really shook up, and she's like, you should go to the boxing gym. You should learn how to defend yourself. I was like, that sounds like a great idea. And I went down and I fell in love with the sport, and you know, then three months later I took my first fight, and that was it. And now it's taken me all over the world. So, I guess, you know, triumph over tragedy, you know. teaching for 13 years. Right out of college I was a speech therapist for four years and then I went back and got my masters and then I started teaching fourth grade in Springfield and then that's when I was like 27 and then I started boxing. You know it worked well with my teaching. I was able to, to teach during the day and train at night and that's what I've been doing for about the last 10 years. Two master's degrees, one in education, one in special education and you know, I've been teaching for a long time. I, I love teaching. It's my passion. It's my career. It's not a job for me. You know, I love my students. I'm passionate about them. I, I want to be a positive role model for them. You know, I try to educate them inside the classroom and also outside about life and, you know, how it has to be and how they can better themselves and that education will give them choices in their life. If they don't value education, they're not going to have any choices. And I try to instill that in them. I have great relationships with my kids, so I tell them, you know, they know what I do outside. They know what the deal is. Yeah. They're always cheering for me. They make me signs if they know I'm going away to fight or, you know, if I have to miss a day of work, they'll, they'll make me a sign like, you know, go Miss Lamonicus or, you know, Golden Glove Champion, you know, so they're real supportive. They love that. Well, at first, you know, my mom and dad weren't happy about it, but they know that I think my mother just embraced it quickly because she knew that I was adamant and I was going to do what I wanted to do. I was educated. I went to college. I did that, you know, and I started after. So it's not like I'm, oh, I'm not going to school. I'm going to box, you know. So it wasn't, it's a little different. Some of the guys that are in the gym, they box because they don't have a choice. They don't have an education. You know, boxing is a hobby for me. It's a choice that I make to box, you know. And at first, my mother was very, it was very hard. She didn't come to any amateur fights for two years. And then finally, you know, she came, my mom and dad came when I fought outside in Meriden, Connecticut at a tent show and I fought this really big monster girl and I ended up kicking her ass and after that, you know, my mom came to all my fights. She's been to every single one of my pro fights, all nine pro fights that I've had and 
she's supportive and they wear t-shirts and they wave Greek flags and I think that it was hard for my mother but she just learned to embrace me and, and support me because she loves me and she knew that it made me happy and she saw the good it brought in me you know it helps you control your anger when you can fight you know I used to have major anger issues but learning how to fight I, I learned to channel my anger differently and control it and it's, it's changed me as a person that's it. Let's go with four. Fast. Quick. Quick. Pop. Quick. 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 Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Get the body in there. She hits like a tank, man. Seriously, she hits hard. She hits persistent. Her, her technique is, is near perfect. Obviously, everybody always has something they can work on. But she's there, man. She, she's ready to go. She's ready to knock people out. She's ready to, uh, to take belts and defend the ones, whatever she has. Uh, from, from what I've seen, most of the guys that are either uh, low-ranking professionally here or advanced fighters in any of the sports, MMA, Muay Thai, or boxing, she shuts them down. They end up getting uh, discouraged, and they want, to, they want to stop sparring. After about two rounds, they don't come back. Any, any boxer who says they're not nervous is lying. Everybody's nervous. Everybody's nervous, you know, and not scared. I'm never scared, but I do get nervous because, you know, you're stepping into a ring. It's you and one other person. It's not a team sport. You know, even you, you have a trainer in the corner, but this is a team, an individual sport where you are basically, you know, I'm, I'm in there by myself fighting somebody, so I have to be at the top of my game, you know, just to be successful and, and look like I should be in there. You know, because there's no hiding in boxing. Once you're in the ring and you're fighting, there's no hiding. You know, your true colors come out. How you react to the punch, how you, how you take a punch, how, how you punch, it's, it's evident in the way you perform in the ring. Sonia is good, you know? Don't have to play with him, with her, because she's good, really good. He's the champion. He's the champion. I want to be a world champion. I want to win, you know, the WBC, the IBF, the IBA, the NABF, every title out there that I can win, I want to try to win. And, you know, I just, I'm not going to box forever. I probably have four or five more years, but I will also, I will always work out. You know, boxing will always be a part of my life because what it did for me and what it gave me. And, you know, it changed me in many ways and it helped me in many ways. And I'm very thankful to the sport. and. You know, everybody that I've met and encountered throughout boxing has, has been tremendous, and I'm, I'm really happy about that. Going toe to toe. Lamanakis left hook's been the biggest, biggest shot of the round so far. Lamanakis knows how to throw a left hook. Yes, she does. And Lamanakis going straight to the body and then to the head. Take a look at some action here, Steve, from round two. Look at the shots. Incredible. Those left hooks from round one on from Lamanakis. Tremendous punches. That's the bell. But not only that, look at it. She's not breathing hard. Yeah. And still undefeated, Sonia, the scholar of Monica. So Sonia LaMonica remains undefeated. You know, everybody that started me and helped me, and Derek and Darren Whitley from Holyoke, Mass. I mean, every, anybody that's been a part of my career, my family, my friends, my supporters, the teachers I work with, that come to my fights with signs, you know, just everybody that's ever been a part of it, my sparring partners, you know. Um, 
anybody that's been there for me and supported me in any way, I, I appreciate, you know, and, and reached out to Tiger, you know, because they I noticed that they had the boxing, they the ones that offered boxing, and I just sent them an email, sent some information, and they were very good and responded right away and interested in me and my story and, you know, for me to come out here, and they've been very kind to me in the training and, you know, letting me use their facilities to train, so I'm, I'm really, really thankful, and I'm glad to be here, and it's it's been a tremendous journey so far.